Hi friends, welcome back to At Home with Holly. My name's Holly and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So today um, is Valentine's Day and I am getting ready to go get cleaned up because I'm going to go volunteer in my daughter's classroom for her Valentine's Day party. It's going to be so much fun. But I had about an hour till I need to go get showered and ready. And I thought, well, <laughs> who else can I spend this time with besides my friends? <laughs> and we can plant some things. So I decided that I'm, we're getting low on space and we're about to, we're about um, a little less than two weeks away from starting to plant some tomatoes and um, a few other things. And so I wanted to do one more round of winter sowing, something that I do not have to babysit inside. <laughs> So um, we have been doing so well. We have so many things growing, but today we're going to be winter sowing. And the thing that I forgot to actually winter sow, so this is perfect time, are my poppies. Poppies! So um, I wanted to grow several different types of poppies this year um, along my wildflower garden and hoping that it self-seeds and comes back for years to come. And if not, I'll winter sow it again. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I wanted to plant some poppies today. So um, we are going to get some containers. So if you were here with me when we did winter sowing last time, if not, I'll add a link to that video at the end of this. Um, but I've got my holes drilled in a clear Tupperware container. This is a 32 quart Tupperware container. And um, the upstairs is the lid, but the lid is like this, except with holes in it, so clear. You can do this in milk jugs, you can do this in anything really but um so we are going to last time we did winter sewing we did our um our little uh i think these are two and a half two and a half inch pots and a four inch pot this time i'm going to do um the winter sewing in the shallower trays because i want to try it and see what happens <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and find out how many of these trays i can fit Okay, four, five, six, hold on, one, two, three, four, oh, more of these than I thought, okay, not going to be able to fit another one that way, so I may throw in a couple little pots I want to maximize our space so let's see what we can fit I could fit one of those I don't want to take up too many of these four inch pots because I want to save these to be able to up pot but the four inch pots would probably fit the best I think I have some old ones from my local greenhouse. Let me see how many of those I have that could fit. This is why you save your old junk pots too. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be perfect. It was made for it, let me see. Yep, it was meant to be. Okay, so we're gonna get these filled with soil and then we're gonna get our poppy seeds. So any seeds that I start inside, I always use the um, same seed starting mix that I use all the time. I use the Pro Mix of Mycorrhiza. I go ahead and pre-moisten it and I get it mixed together. And then I add in some Trifecta Plus from MI Gardener. It's not required, but it's what I like to do just so they're ready to uptake it when they're ready, fill my pots and get started. Okay, so here's what we're gonna sow today. <laughs> We've got just a little more time. So here's what I grabbed. I actually, so the reason I thought of this was because yesterday, Olivia and I, Olivia said she wanted to sow some seeds and I was like, okay, well, we'll do, we haven't done poppies yet. And I was like, I can't believe I forgot to do poppies. And then um, we sowed, um, like 16 little two and a half inch pots and then i was like oh man poppies need to be cold stratified so we sewed them and then i actually put um four of them in each of these little um 
the shallower trays so they carry you can hold four in each one and i poured four of them up in my fridge wrapped in saran wrap like as a cold stratifying thing and then i thought i was thinking about it all last night <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh that would have been so much smarter for me to do one more box of winter sewing and just put it outside with the others so that's what we're doing we're going to take the four from the fridge and add it to these four and these six so um, and i'll take you through what's been germinating and doing really well for us over here but one of the things that i want more of is you guys it's rudbeckia <laughs> it's rudbeckia so um we did the cherry brandy that all germinated really well the rudbeckia sahara which is my favorite from last year none of it has germinated and it took forever and it was really hard for it to germinate last year so i've got it sewn already winter sewing episode number one <laughs> and I'm going to re-sew some of that again and then I actually just re-sewed some of it again down here as well so we're going to do our poppies and more Rudbeckia Saharas I'll put a picture of that one up on the screen it's so pretty but so the four poppies that we're going to do today um we've got we'll start with this one we got it for 10 cents at Menards because I can't turn down seed packets especially when they're 10 cents um, and then the next two are from MI Gardener. So we've got the um, Papaver or Papaver, I'm not sure, Poppy Mix and the Black Swan Poppy. I thought those were really pretty. And then we've got from Baker Creek, we've got the Black Peony Poppy, which I thought was really beautiful as well. So we're just going to do these four today and we're going to see what we get done. So. I'm going to um, kind of sprinkle them all over. I need to get some tags. I need to get some tags. That way I don't forget what I did. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I have some tags already for the Rudbeck. Yeah. You can erase dropping everything. You can erase these tags and write over them with some scrubbing, but if I already have them written out, I tend to just sort through and try to, although I might have reused those tags when I replanted. All right, I'll write new tags. Okay, so I've really tried to make an effort in the last year, last year, and I'm doubling down on it this year with really planting a lot of flowers for the pollinators and for myself <laughs> so that I'm creating a beautiful space um, that I want to be in. You know, it's not just for growing the fruit and harvesting the fruit and the vegetables. Of course, that's awesome and I love being able to provide that for my little family, but um, I want to enjoy it for my soul too. So definitely doubling down on planting flowers and making it a space. Um, I think I'm mis misspelling rude back yet, but that's okay. No, I am not. Okay, so this time for the Rudbeckia, I'm going to use the seeds that are saved from my favorite Rudbeckia flower because the, they are, essentially they've naturalized to my garden. And so I'm hoping that they have a better shot of germinating. So, probably some yeast in there as well. Okay. I'm going to put a lot of seeds down because I really want more Rebecca. I'm not going to plant all the ones that I just put into my hand, but I'm definitely planting as one does a lot of my favorites because I want them to come up. I'm going to re-stick it closed with some washi tape. And now we are on to our peonies. So we'll start with our 
black peony poppies. We're onto our poppies. <laughs> Did I say we're onto our peonies? Oh my goodness. Okay. Now poppy seeds are microscopic. So definitely being able to kind of scatter them is awesome. Okay, next one, poppy red corn. I actually haven't grown poppies on purpose. Well, that's not true. So I have the wildflower mix. I, I bought one that I planted and that kind of regrows here. And there were a few poppies that um, popped up, but not a ton of them. And I'd like to kind of get more. So I'm excited to... I've heard that they're not easy to germinate, but I think the cold stratification is the key. So I'm hoping this works. Okay, black swan poppy. And I just thought that these uh, were some cool varieties. And they, like I said, they self-seed because there's so many seeds per pod. So this is a really good one to be able to grow. And if I like it, save seeds from for the next growing season and this mix i just thought was really fun and my gardener always has the best varieties okay so i'm going to put some i'm going to give these an initial spray so also part of my routine is after i get things um, in the pots where i want them to go i give them an initial spray to get them settled in and make sure they're making contact with that moistened soil and then i go ahead and do a layer of vermiculite um, just that helps the moisture retention on the top of the surface where the seeds are going to be germinating and then i give them give them a second little spray to make sure the vermiculite is moist and so is the soil and then i get them tucked in where they need to be on the shelf Oh, I also wanted to show you all the things that we have growing so far. So I'm excited to give you this update. We've got onions and shallots up there. We've got flowers here and our peppers. All of our sweet peppers have germinated up there. We have all of our brassicas down here, some calendula and some spicy peppers down there a few flowers and then down here are things that have not yet germinated so i replanted um, some violas i forgot anaheim peppers can you believe it so i planted those wanted one more tray of onions some flowers and herbs down here are our alpine strawberries that have germinated we had a little bit of algae growing um, so i took the um, the domes off because these are taking such a long time to germinate that we did have a little bit of algae but no big deal they're still germinating right through that and so after they've germinated they go over here and then over here we have our tray of petunias looking lovely over here this is where my older grow lights are but i have them turned off so that they're not noisy over here but we have some of our larger things like artichokes and calendula and some of our asters down here we have our sweet potato slips growing and probably another couple days and then i'll cut this off and put it in water i'll take you guys along with me while we do that yeah so things are going pretty well and then we have our outside stuff growing as well i'm excited to be able to start our next rounds up here we have our next rounds ready to get started so i'm excited so i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have shown this channel all of the comments and the likes and the shares and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because we have so much more growing to do together um, between the gardening and the preserving and the outdoor projects i'm excited for the 24 2024 garden and for everything beyond that as well so thank you guys so much for spending time with me as we learn together <laughs> and grow together. So I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye, my friends.